we are entering into another chapter and the chapter is about internal trade we have already learned and it is another part of trade that is external trade and the chapter is external trade now external trade in other name it is known as international business so this chapter is international business or we can call it external trade or foreign trade anyway we can call it but the chapter's name is international business and we are entering into the new chapter and what is international business we have already seen in the previous chapter the trade when it is happening within the boundaries of country it is called as internal trade now when the trade is happening beyond the borders when is when the trade is happening beyond the borders of one's country then it is called as international business trade beyond the boundaries of one's own country we call it by the name international business when we are trading with another country or more than one country other than our country then it should be called or it must be called or it is called international business and in international business we can see movement of goods and services and also capital personnel workers the workforce technology and intellectual property like patents and all it is also moving from one country to another country so there is movement of goods and services along with that capital personnel technology and intellectual rights are also moving from one country to another country and the basic idea or the fundamental reason behind international trade or why must a country go for international trade is that simple reason but it is one of the main reason that is no country can develop whatever it requires by itself countries cannot produce equally or cheaply all what they need what they need so no country can produce no country can produce what they need no countries can produce no country can produce what they need cheaply or equally different countries are having capacity to create or produce something different because in india if you are looking at the climate looking at the geographical features looking at many other factors india is leading in producing many things whereas when we compare with another country that country may be better in producing something else so if you are comparing all the countries in the world each country is having their capacity in different products or production of different products so the fundamental reason behind external trade is that no country has the capacity to provide all what they need they have to rely on another country they have to get it from some other country because of their geographical features because of their customs because of the traditions or because of certain other factors countries find it difficult to produce all what they need so answer for that is international business we can get it from another country now international business if we are looking at international business we can see there are many other things there are many other things which is uh, encouraging or uh, which which can benefit one country when it is entering into international business now we are going to see what are the benefits we get when we are going for international trade now benefits are basically Uh, avail or benefits is generally for firms who are there in international business at the same time there are benefits for nations also now we are going to see what are the benefit a nation a country is getting when it is entering into international business what all benefits do a country get when it enters into international business first one is that a company can earn foreign exchange when it is entering into international business when it is dealing 
with the domestic market alone all the transactions happen within the country's currency or transaction or when transaction happen currency coming in and currency moving out as the same currency of that country but when we are entering into international business what happens is that foreign currency comes in foreign currency comes in and this foreign currency can be used later at a situation where company in need of is in need of some product which is there with the other country so for example if we are having trade with america we can have, we can get or when we are selling goods to america we can get american dollars which is accepted as a almost as a general currency so for further transaction with any of the foreign countries we can use this dollar so or euro if we are getting euro we can use it for further transaction with any european countries so in that way earning foreign currency earning of a foreign currency is a very important benefit we can avail from international business that is one of the benefit a country is getting from international business second one is more efficient use of resources more efficient use of resources now uh, as we have said the basic idea behind international business is that produce at its best and give it to others or no no country can uh, produce what they can uh, what they need all what they need but something they will be at uh, they will be having a stronghold or some area some product they will be having a stronghold so international business is working behind the principle that whatever you can produce produce maximum produce at its best and uh, what to say uh, it can be given to another country where they are not able to produce so whatever you are having capacity to produce your best at you do that and later excess can be given to another country which is to, which doesn't have that capacity to uh, produce that particular good so in that way when we are looking we can see that uh, even when we are having better resources which our country is particularly having which our country is particularly having stronghold it can be produced it can be used to its maximum when international trade because uh, if you are relying only on domestic trade these things which are produced or these products which are there which is produced in our country which is produced by your country at maximum may not be sold out completely this resources may be there remaining but when we are there in international business we can share we can sell it with uh, other countries who doesn't have the capacity to produce this particular product or good so in that way we can use our resources in a better manner which fetch us some better return in that way also international business is benefitable for a country for a nation improving growth prospectus improve, improving growth prospectus if a com company is selling only in the domestic market it doesn't have much to earn it may not be having much to earn so what what they are doing is that uh, when company is having capacity to produce more when company is having resources to produce more they produce more and if they are able to sell it to international market there is chance for growth for company more return will come along with that one more thing happens when they are working in larger scale there cre there get created lot of employment opportunities and more number of people get a job and that way also growth happens growth prospectus is there and as well as employment potentials are there so growth happens for a company when it is going beyond beyond domestic market to international market they get a chance to grow much more use their resources in a better manner in which they can earn more of return as well as 
it also creates large number of employment opportunities because when we are entering into international business more number of products are required so more employment opportunities can be generated which in turn can lead to the growth of the firm growth of the country and last one is increased standard of living increased standard of living now if you are looking at uh, in in indian market uh, you can see a lot of products which earlier was not available for us which we were not familiar with nowadays indian market is trading with why because through international trade we are getting to know much better facilities much quality products and our standard of living is becoming much better the level of stand level of living becomes much better we use much better goods much better services which we were not earlier using in that way also it is beneficial for a country that with the standard of living of people becomes better so these are some of the benefits international business is providing to nations or country now not only for country it is also beneficial for firms the business firms also benefits out of international business when a business firm is carrying out a business beyond the borders of the country it also benefits now what are the benefits one is higher profits higher profits when uh, business firm is focusing just on domestic market within the country we cannot expect that much of return to come in because the total number of people may be comparatively less whereas when it is compared with the international markets we can get better price out of it we can get more number of customers in that way when we are thinking more there is chance for more profits to come in when we are doing business in international level so in that way firms can earn better profits or higher profits through international trade second one is increased capacity utilization many of the business when they are starting the production capacity or when they are installing the production capacities they make or they prepare or they install production capacities more than that what is required for the domestic requirement if in a country only 100 units are to be produced no company will just start with just 100 units it will put something more in production capacity so many a times what happens is that if they are focusing only on domestic market their capacities will not be fully utilized because they will be making sure that the production capacities are much more than or they install production capacities uh, in a additional level so many a times after catering to the uh, after catering to the domestic requirements uh, either the capacity will not be utilized full or products which we have produced more will be will be there back with us so in that case when a company is going for international business what happens is that company will get a chance because when we are going to international market we are getting a wider range of uh, wider number of people wider number of markets beyond our country where we can where we need to produce more in order to satisfy the requirement so many a times international business allows a business firm to use its capacity to maximum to maximum they are able to use their capacities in that way also international business is of benefit for a firm they are able to use their capacity to maximum to the optimum so that way it is beneficial for firm third one is prospectus for growth prospectus for growth now uh, what to say when uh, we are focusing only on domestic market what happens is that there is a time when 
people are familiar with the products people have already purchased the products and there is a saturation level which uh, a situation where people will not further buy the products because they are used there they are having in whatever way there it will reach a saturation level so beyond that level we cannot push the customers to purchase our product in such a situation there comes if there comes the entry into international business it will be of help where our products which are already reached the saturation level will be able to be sold at a international market we can sell it at foreign markets in that way also it is uh, what to say it is uh, uh, sold out or it may be having high demand in the foreign markets in other countries those products may be new and they may be welcomed much more you must understand those products which have reached saturation level in a home country could have demand or could be sold in foreign markets much better so entry into foreign markets can help us selling out those products which have reached the saturation level and their growth happens the growth happens we can uh, have much more earnings out of it next one they are saying is way out in way out to intense competition in domestic market and many a times when we are looking at the market the domestic market we can see some of the products are having heavy competition number of competitors are there trying to get the market share so in domestic market when number of competitors are becoming more international business is one of the way where we can get out of this competition where the number of competitors will be comparatively less international business will uh, what to say highly competitive domestic market drives many companies to go for in national business search in search of markets for uh, their products and where they can say we can say that uh, what about is uh, said in the text i have read uh, international business is giving a way out for the companies which tries to get out of the competitive highly competitive market in the domestic market they move out to the international market they move out to international market where comparatively competition is lesser and they can reap benefits out of that so when competition increase in domestic market the companies or the option before a company is to enter into international business international market where they can sell the products and competition wise it is comparatively lesser and the last one is improved business vision improved business vision now if you are looking if you are looking at uh, uh, international business when we are going out of our country when we are going out of the country uh, we can see that many new techniques are used new methods are used the new way of serving the customers in that way when we are thinking international business is opening to us uh, what to say better vision better way of conducting business better way of catering to the customers better way of earning profits uh, better way of handling competition all those things are uh, what to say are been experienced by those companies which are entering into international business so when we are talking about international business it gives a different vision or different uh, way of conducting business different policies in conducting business through international business in that way also we can say international business is of benefit to firms so we are discussing about what is international business what are the benefits international business is having or giving for firms as well as for countries